are back in part three of The Player and Josh Tam's photo critique. And what are we critiquing? This time we're critiquing the third part series of the, uh, the Morningside College competition of Chinese University of Hong Kong. And uh, they've submitted photos within the three categories. And then whereas me, Josh, is supposed to give our judgment on uh, commenting on uh, how, why we think this, uh, rank each of these photos by its categories and why we rank it such like that. Yeah, well, we're just trying to give some critiques and uh, give you yeah. a bit of insight of how judges or judge or how we would judge an image and what yeah. goes through our minds and what we see when we look at images. And we and love the, photography. Yeah, and it's last great. last uh, last time we talked about a topic and then uh, before we go into each of these topics, we talk about how we have... Um, how we will approach this category and um, check it out in our first video on the link below and you would find out yeah, so how we approach that. We yeah. talked about that and then now we're on to part we're three, on part the last three. section on the category, disruption. disruption. What are you going to disrupt? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully so, the yep. concept of photography. We are an overview is here and um, let's dive into it. Okay, let's go in the first image. So, disruption. This is the name, the category name. This is it's very important because this is what we're going to be judging on. First photo, disruption. Okay. So, what are we looking at here? Hmm. Is it a disruption of is, color or? This is like someone's torture chamber. Yeah, I think it's going to try. Is this like someone's S and M? Dungeon? Whack! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah... Okay. First off, technically quite good. You've got mixed colored lining, you've got this nice yeah. streak of light coming through and everything... Because everything's dark and... Everything has detail. I can see what things are and it's still dark. So, technically, actually pretty good job. Yeah, it is. It I don't is know okay. if you were lucky to have an environment that was lit that way, or did you put a torch here, or where, what is what kind of light? The lighting is good. But the light, yeah, the lighting is good. It's very important. Uh, oops. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, lighting's very good. Subject wise, I think other tools. And what is it trying to disrupt? Um, composition wise, disruption of composition. Mm. Should we look at the title? It's called Broken. Ah, uh, I see. So that, that's mm. this is a good hint. So, is this broken tools though? Mm. Um, it's like a door. It's I'm like having door. mixed feelings on this, but uh, it captures the moment that it's a broke like it's. It's about to break down these things, about to fall, collapse all at once. Oh, okay. I get the idea that oh, I've just gone to an abandoned, abandoned garage. Just the tools are broken, so yeah. Yeah, no one uses it anymore, everything's rusty and... And you managed to capture this rusty part of it. Yeah, so it's just, got a good... It's got a good feel. it's very... It's good. It feels like it's old and it's derelict and... It's got mm. this time, you know, no one's using this anymore. This is a tough one. Time's gone by. But I, I guess you'd agree with me. I don't mm. quite get what the subject, what it's got to do with the subject. It's, it's yeah. not a very strong... Uh, the subject doesn't stand out. No, it's but about this, this is a landscape though. This is a landscape shot, if anything though. Because everything is in focus. Mm -hmm. So this is a landscape shot. Is there anything? But... Landscape wise, I think it's like broken tools. Yeah, disruption. This is a really tough one. I like yeah. this one actually. It, as an image, it's good, but I, I'm not Subject quite sure what wise, you're trying to say. Yeah. It Subject took us wise. some time. And so I still it, don't get it. So. Oh, I kind of get it afterwards. I hope I'm right though. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm wrong, then leave your comments below. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah. So okay. So how do we improve this image? I think... You have to play with the lighting. 
I think I think lighting's fine. It's good. No, it's the, dark the lighting should focus on your subject more. Oh, I see. I, I think see. the broken tools because okay. it's just a strip now. Okay, so you, you see it as you see it as about broken tools. So you, yeah, you need to some of the broken tools. You need to flash a light onto it. So or maybe a couple of lights. Yeah. Okay, I agree. I'm not sure how it's lit. It, it's a it's an interesting one. It's an interesting one. I, we'll get back to this. Okay, disruption. So did they? I'm not sure what these are. They the ferry ticket or? It reminds me when you go to a concert and they want to make What's sure that? Is that a pole or something? The white one. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's what does it disrupt? Got this dot thing. It's very prominent in the image. If if you look at it as if it were a painting, the painter would have deliberately if this were a painting and I know it's not but the painter would have drawn mm -hmm. an antenna and connecting it to the arm so you, there would have been a connection because in painting you can you can kind of choose where everything goes because you're the painter mm -hmm. but with photography you've kind of got to be like that even though there's a pole in the way uh, if you're going to press that button you it's going to be there mm -hmm. and you know you're like a painter you've you can choose if you want that pole to be there by moving your camera around or having the people in a different spot. So so that's the disruption. I'm not sure if this is a deliberate thing or I'm still a bit confused just like the last one. If you if you, sure if, it's, if that's the disruption then it makes sense. Yeah, but it's not I don't get it. Why is it a antenna disruption? Why is it white? So I still don't understand this as an image, as a, as as a image. disrupt with with the tab title disruption. Can we yeah. have to go look at the file? So it is farewell. JPEG. So that gives us a bit of a hint. So it looks like they're farewelling. I guess they're saying a goodbye. To <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, Paul. <laughs> oh, so this this sorry, I need more explanation for this one okay another question are they allowed to photoshop this part It'd take you take someone 10 minutes to photoshop this no. part is that allowed no uh, we don't actually know because we don't know the exact rules of this competition but some people would say yes some people say no depends on the so i'm going to take this off though dude it's like right in the middle of yes clone yeah. clone the mountain clone. Oh, take your yes. 10 minutes so anyway, maybe that's the disruption, the pole. Okay. So how would you? I think that this doesn't strengthen the image. I think because it's called farewell, it's about these two kids saying goodbye yeah. to someone, and it's quite interesting how you don't see their face. Mm -hmm. um, I guess. And the wind is is quite good. So I am wondering if you could have got walked in closer, turn the camera to the side to get rid of this pole because it. It's really disrupts prominent. the mid -mage. Yeah, it really disrupts. <laughs> if that's what you're trying to do for this topic, for this photo, on <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> so it okay, doesn't so, work. So move. Just take a few steps to your left, and then take a step forward, <laughs> and you can move this pole to here, and then crop in, and you'll yeah, get, you get a very whole... similar image, but you'll be a lot stronger because you get the blowing of the hair, and his. I think his expression, his mouth looks to be open or something. She yeah. looks a bit sad at the head tilt. So that could be, you, you would be closer in on what your subject is yeah, and it will yeah. be a stronger image. So yeah. Unless you really want to have the pole as a disruption. <laughs> ah, okay. let's just go next. Okay. <laughs> All said and done. But before we like, you know, tell you the story, I think the lighting is great. Look at this beautiful light, the sunlight. The lighting is through. great, yeah. And you know, it's it, you've captured a nice moment here. Yeah, the pole really disrupted the photo. <laughs> well All <right>. done. <laughs> All right, we we are totally focusing on the pole. Okay, <laughs> next. Uh, so this is World War Three, and they're blowing up Disneyland. Or was it some king's castle? I don't or get what's so disruptive is it other than the fireworks being disruptive. Uh, yeah, again, this is these the first three have been a bit haven't quite understood the link between the subject being disruption. Now, Sorry, again, we have to do this fireworks over the castle. So, are we saying this is Disneyland? I, I think 
I think they mean the fireworks is destroying, the disrupting the castle. Hmm. I think it's like the competition thing. Yeah. The composition disruption. If, okay. But if you want to do that, you really need to make sure we understand the original photo first before you get the disruption. So you need to think about it in the two different mindsets. The original photo and what causes it the disruption. Because fireworks over a castle sounds like one topic to us. Hmm. Instead of two topics. But they're only allowed to submit one image. Yeah, yeah, still. But per that's category. why this one this okay. topic is a hard topic. I agree with that. Okay. So let's see, disruption. we again we're not quite sure how it's disruptive. I guess fireworks over a castle is a bit strange and it's unusual. Uh, it looks a little bit military because, because of all the smoke. And, and then the uh, leading lines all lead to the castle itself. Yeah, I mean, as an image, it's okay. Uh, I just don't find it disruptive. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'd agree. I, I don't no quite, pun intended. I, I don't get the link between the subject. Now, how would we improve this image if we were to shoot it? Or how would you improve this image if you were to go back and shoot it? It's a really tough choice. So I think, okay, you've got all these heads of people and that is, if you're trying to show the castle and the fireworks, they don't help the image unless you want to give it a bit, bit of atmosphere. And if you do want to give it a bit of atmosphere, you can actually show a lot more people. So why don't you try bringing the camera up and then shooting above your head. And some cameras let you do that. Or if you, if you can see the phone, you know, if you're using a phone or whatever, you can kind of angle it so you can see. A lot of cameras have a flip-out screen, and if you brought the camera up, you would get a clearer view. You get rid of huge heads in the way, and you actually see all the people. Oh, is it the heads are the disruptive figure? Ah, oh, maybe. But if it were, if it were, you have to focus on that part. The head has to be humongous, so yeah. we get it. Yeah, exactly. Right now, it's like it's there. you need to balance your head and the castle and the fireworks itself. If the head is supposed to be disruptive yeah. figure, yeah. So if it, if you're going to take that approach and you're being blocked mm -hmm. by a tall guy, then you really have to be blocked. But I don't think they're trying to do that. I think they're trying to show or the they're trying to do it the, the, or, or is the smoke the disruptive fact, the fact fires of the castle. Or is it the smoke that's the disruptive yeah, But it's not disrupting that one. You can see very clearly. So, no, 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 that's true. Uh, uh, I, I think... This is a tough topic. I think either. someone may... You know, I think maybe for this one, they had a look at their library and said, ah, oh, this kind of fits the topic. Let's enter it. I kind of think... It would have been like that. So, okay. because we're we're very confused about this. Yeah, one, this is if we're honest. Okay. But uh, okay, I think for this one, raise the camera up. You get, you you can disrupt someone behind you, and you can take a better photo. <laughs> that would be a good idea. Mm. Oh, get a selfie. Get stick. a get a selfie stick in the middle, and it's like disruptive. Yeah. Or you do what I did. I went to a music concert, and I had a big umbrella. As a flash, and I opened it oh, up. Oh, the DUMB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that totally blocked everyone's view. It's very, it was very <laughs> this funny. Disruptive. It was very funny. <laughs> I like this one. Now I do like this one. This one looks like a professional photo, or you know, it looks like a bit of effort's been because it, this, I would have done something similar where you have a really nice composed picture, and then some objects disrupts it. Yeah. And the smoke does exactly that. It so this, is doing, the center this is doing what we thought the last one could have done by blocking something. Yes, exactly. And then it's nicely composed. The circle is in the middle. Maybe cropped out the bottom a bit. I don't think the person yeah. needs to be exactly the center. It could have been a two-thirds crop. Yeah, so we're saying that maybe this water pouring out isn't doing that much of the image because the yeah. strength of the image is this beautiful smoke. smoke. and this huge circle and this darkness yeah. and then so this area isn't actually adding or that maybe much. you can put it at the bottom where the, where the water will actually more focus would be yeah. bringing on the water but yeah. that or, would be disruptive to the subject so or no. will that be blocking too much of yeah that's still so the, or the smoke be is too, too close enough. to yeah. the would, if you crop that out would it be too close to the to the bottom so it's not such an issue. Such an issue. You, can, you can probably adjust your camera a little bit more to strengthen a bit, but overall it's pretty overall good. Overall it's pretty good. 
Okay. Nothing much said about it. I like the contrast. So this I like the, the color. thing we the thing I like about this image is I get it. I look at this image and the smoke is disrupting the person, and it's kind of got a, a counterculture feel to it. You know, it, yeah. it feels like oh, how did you even get here? All this things place? said is and it, done. Is I, it? There's nothing much to be said about this. It's really well well done. Yeah, it's well produced. It's I, I do like images that are deliberate. That someone had to set up a shot and you know you yeah. have to get a well, few people it's, it's there it's and out maybe of documenting you have to go like somewhere that. where they yeah. have this location and take it and the coloring is good uh i do like you know instagram filters mm -hmm. or you know color grading mm -hmm. and it, it gives it you know what, what they've done here is they've made it a bit more contrasty a bit grungier you know the blacks aren't totally black they're a bit bluish it actually shows like how the art of the smoke can be disruptive for mm. subject this which is why i think this photo is really well done yeah i like it so it looks like a commercial photo like something you'd hire a professional photographer yeah, to do yeah. and i think this could look good in on a cne cover or something like that yeah yeah I guess so, nothing much said. Well I think, done. I think it's good, yeah. Well done. I like the model as well. He's sexy. <laughs> well, maybe you can ask the artist later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, disruption. Ah. Should we look at the title? Mixture. Did we look at the last title? Oh, actually, no, actually. If I become intangible, do you still know me? If I become intangible, do you still know me? Yes, because of your ex. Be because of your uniquely sexy body build. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we like it. We like it. I like this one as well. Okay, mixture. It is disruptive because it's like a puddle of water. I feel... I, I like the way it's being composed. And mm -hmm. when I look at it, I feel like I need to turn my head upside down. Because you've, you've got just the hint of the car. Yes. in there it's nicely composed so that and then the castle is nicely composed as well yeah and then the whole thing is actually on at the water level uh maybe the no, water maybe the it's about the here the camera yeah. but the camera could move it's one of those when i look at it i kind of want to turn my head or yeah something so it, it works in that sense it's disrupting it's me <laughs> yeah now just a few nitpicks. Uh, you probably can't do anything about the power lines. They're going to be there yeah. if you want to keep this composition. One thing is, I think this, because it's about the castle, this is too close to the top. Uh, I'd like just a little bit more breathing room here. You can maybe lower, raise or lower the camera or walk oh. back because this is almost chopping off the castle, the top of the castle. I'd like oh. just a little bit more sky there. Uh, okay. Apart from that, it's good. The color, maybe a bit of color this grade. Uh, maybe more of this road here as well. I know it's yeah, there just to indicate yeah. that it's upside down. You shot it in the water and how it's going to be disrupted. Maybe just a fraction, just just a f inch more. Yeah, a tiny bit more of the road because it still work. Yeah, that's the only nitpick of that. Well done. Okay, good. This, this, these, the world. Yeah, the last three are pretty good. I like, three, yeah, I like this one as well. So this is the this is one competition where it's okay to put the things in the middle and it's exactly in the middle, but you know what it's about. Well, yeah, but then you've also got this guy here, which this is quite lucky. Unless if you just came around and you saw this guy there, that's quite lucky. Or also acceptable is to like go sit your friend there and tell him to do that. But yeah. it looks like he's just sitting there. And you captured this moment, and it's a it's a great composition. It works. You got, you got. I love these textures. Everything's a little bit old looking. Even even the newish buildings are a bit old looking. Well, it's disruptive. Hmm. You got this is the kind of time. photo that we're talking about. If the composition, we, it's deliberately, it's there. You see one photo, but then there's another photo that's properly composed, but it's disruptive to the original photo, and then it blends well. Yeah, it the, all the works. Point, the point is, it blends well. Yeah. The whole composition is great. It so works. yeah, yeah. So, I don't know if that people, if that person, if it's done, this photo will still work. <laughs> yeah, but I, I kind of like it. It's just having a per person that, and it's not a standard pose. 
he's like he looks really like he's probably asleep like me he looks glum or depressed because his head's down and he's like off to the side it's mm-hmm. and he's just in the corner there so it does add something and he's in this whole area where it's brown and old and he's like sad yeah. so I th- it's what's it mysterious or it's mm-hmm. abstract can't remember the exact word I'm trying to say but it it sort of works with with that person mm. if he wasn't in there if he was like there do you think it'd be a stronger image maybe if it's or more weaker? towards the center to the rules of thirds maybe hmm. I mean this is this kind is of breaking really, the rules and it kind of works it kind of works so yeah I'm okay with it yeah. this is the exact the one we're talking about where it breaks the rules but it works as well yeah and rules are meant to be broken so I don't know what yeah. that is. It's like a picture Whoa, of Whoa, these three are hard for this category. Yeah, yeah. Is that a picture of what the house used to look like or I don't know. I would have to crap it into a better form. So you've got all the the trees taken over this whole building. It's and it's it's like a dead tree. Yeah. So yeah. It works well with the themes, disruption, for sure. And we haven't looked at this. It's called not disrupted Dutch APEC. So <laughs> not disrupted. Hmm, very abstract. I'm not quite sure exactly what he's trying to say, but it's interesting. It kind of works. It kind of works as an image. It works as an image. Without, without a title. And, yeah, the title can add a little bit more. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe it's trying to be like an army, where these buildings are not, these buildings are not disruptive to the environment of these buildings at all. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well done. That's great. Uh, one little thing, maybe it's a little bit bright and exposed. You, if it's post, you, you fix this in post, especially yeah. if you're shooting raw. You just darken this. It just looks a little bit bright because uh, contrast wise, these are in the background and mm. they're kind of, you lose a little bit of detail. You can darken that contrast up, the detail there, and it would make the whole image look a little bit more uniform because it's, it's very contrast image especially all here yeah that I think that's, the, that's, like, that's how you could the sharp part is at the bottom and the top yeah. part is like so you can balance out the top bit because that's very equal equally important hmm. by a bit more contrast okay so overall what do you reckon so the last few that we looked at this one here this one here and this one here we think are the stronger out of these are we doing the ranking now or nope just General overview. General overview. Yeah. yeah, these three images are good. Um, I would have gone for something like this one. This one is out of the blue, but it works as well. Yeah. Works really well, actually. Maybe I would like. I would prefer this one. Maybe, but. So we have the three that we like. Uh, we get. We get. It's about disruption. Something's being disrupted, and the first three we're a little bit confused about. So, I think. As this images, is a hard topic. as images, they're quite nice. They're quite nice. They're all they all shot pretty well. They're and just things you can improve. But remember, this is about the subject, mm-hmm. the topic being disruption. So that's very important. So thanks for watching, and yep. we will leave you here. Yeah. And yeah, well, we have to collaborate with the other uh, judge. We have to confer and then pick the winners. Cool. So there we go. So we'll let you know how that goes a bit later. Till next time! Alright, see you. This is Josh Tan and Josh Lyon. Saying goodbye.